Guys, this video is going to be for people that get tattoos and they got a job interview coming up and they like, oh my gosh, I got a job interview. And we all know when we got these job interviews, tattoos is not, you know, they're not looked upon as nice. So as everybody know, I have a tattoo on my neck. But as you guys can see, you cannot see this tattoo because I concealed it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the makeup off live. So the video is like going in reverse. Okay. It's like going in reverse and um, I'm going to clean the makeup off and then redo it. But I'm going to show you guys. Look how good that look. You cannot tell that I have a tattoo on my neck. This is one thing I regret. Like out of all the tattoos, getting one on my neck. I hated it. So it was like the dumbest thing I could have did. But you notice when I touch it. It's also sealed where it's not coming off like that. So, guys, look, I'm about to take it off. And I'm going to show you guys how to seal. Man, I got it on there so good. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to seal a tattoo. Like, if you guys got a job interview coming up, and you want to go to this interview, and you don't want to have a tattoo on your neck, then you use the makeup and it will cover up the tattoo so the makeup that i use guys is from um benign and i use a little bit of the mac uh product and it's actually if you go on ebay it's for to cover like tattoos and stuff so like y'all know angelina jolie has a tattoo going down her uh going down her uh back i believe so before she get on set and do movies she has to have all of that off so i just want to show you guys the steps on how i'm going to conceal this tattoo on my neck so like, I'm going in reverse, guys, so I'm sorry. When I thought about it, I'm like, this would be great for people that got an interview lined up, and they got to go to an interview, and they want to conceal this tattoo. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my matte concealer, and I'm going to put it all over. So we're going to use concealer, guys, banana powder to set it, and um foundation so the foundation of your choice so you take that concealer and you put it all over so now that i got the concealer all over my neck i'm going to take the beauty blender and um Pat that in with the beauty blender. Now, what I'm going to do to stop the makeup from like coming off and different stuff like that, guys, I'm going to take some primer. So after I put the concealer there, I'm taking some primer and I'm going to put some primer on there because that's going to keep the product like in place so that it's not, you know, moving around or rubbing off on your clothes. So I put a little bit of concealer, then I put the primer. Okay. So now I'm going with the benign. And it's the same um, people that make, well, they, they do the studio fix. Like they do uh, FX makeup and stuff. And so when you go on there, put in um, special effects makeup. And then it'll come up. So, you guys can see. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to take the Beauty Blender and pat that in. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation and put that on. My MAC foundation. You don't need a lot and kind of put that on and all this is like matching your skin tone guys okay so after that i put that on and now 
After that, I am going to take my foundation powder, my star blend, and I'm going to um, put that in here. Okay, so now I'm going to take star blend. And star blend is really a really good uh, makeup. And it's like a good special effects makeup for problem skin and stuff. So I'm taking this and I'm going to pat that out. Pat it in there. So when you go on them interviews and you keep wearing this makeup and then after you get your good 90 days in, you come to work and you got a tattoo and they think, oh, later you went and did it. The whole time is before you even got hired, you had a tattoo on your neck the whole time. But yeah, that's kind of what I do when I have interviews and stuff. I will cover this up and they be like, I didn't know A. Marie, the, the, the manager guy said, I didn't know she had a tattoo on her neck. Well, yep, I had it. But once I was hired in there or whatever and doing my job, they can't come back and try to, you know, do nothing about it. So after that, guys, I'm going to take my setting powder. Your banana powder, setting powder, and set it in there, guys. So this will be how to seal and do it to hide your tattoos. So when you guys got them jobs and you don't want them to know you got these tattoos, you can cover them up. And... As you can see, my nose is oily, but as you can see, they would never have an idea that I have a tattoo. So that would be your way of concealing your tattoo and going to work and they would never know that you have a tattoo on your neck, guys. You guys are better go to work and not have a problem. So I wanted to share that tip with you guys. But yes, it's like a special effects makeup. And it's by um, Ben 9. If you can... This you can never see good. The closer I get. But I'll put, I'll put it, try to put it in the description for you guys. And the MAC, your foundation... Your other foundation and your setting powder. And you can conceal those tattoos that you don't want your boss to know you got. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, guys, you guys have a great night, okay? Bye-bye.